Parliament, uh, where my colleague Patrick Amimo is. And uh, Patrick, I'm sure that the, this, uh, the news of uh, the demise of uh, Francis Nyanze really caught his colleagues uh, off guard, or is it? What are they saying about uh, his passing? Thank you, Betty. I would say that uh, the death of uh, Francis Nyenze has, has come as a shocker to his colleagues because on the, on the 31st of August, when they were swear, when they were sworn in uh, in the 12th Parliament, remember the MP came uh, 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 wearing an oxygen tank at that time. Uh, from that time, after the swearing in, he's not uh, been, he's not appeared in Parliament until uh, uh, this morning, uh, mid this morning, when we had news that uh, he had uh, he had passed on. And just joining me is uh, Mumias West MP Jonathan Naika, just to share with me what he knew about uh, Mushimio. Francis Nyenze. Oh, okay. Uh, I have received this morning with shock the demise of uh, Honorable Nyenze, who is a personal friend. And as you know, in the last parliament, he was uh, uh, my minority leader, a very humble man, very understanding. And the, I learned a lot from him. I just wish to pass my deep condolences to his family his friends, and uh, just wish him that uh, God uh, keeps him well in heaven. We are really shocked as parliament because uh, he was re-elected with uh, very many votes, and we thought that we are going to work together. And he has not been feeling well, we are aware, but uh, we thought that he was going to recover. Look, looking at him, how did he carry his role as the leader of minority in the 11th parliament? And what could we learn from that? Very responsibly, very responsibly. Nyenze, would, you would consult him on any issue and he was ready. Uh, you know, he was informed about uh, parliamentary matters. And uh, both sides of the house, uh, he took with, uh, with, with good balance. So we just, uh, as I told you, that uh, we are just shocked because we knew he was going to come back. And we knew that uh, we are going to give him a role to play again. But it's unfortunate that uh, uh, God's plan is not our plan. Thank you. That is Mumias, uh, Mumias West MP. Uh, Mr. Honorable Naika, just sharing with us what you knew about, uh, about uh, Mushima Nyenza. Just also joining me is a Navajo member of parliament just to tell us uh, about, uh, about the, the, the death of uh, Nyenze. How, how did the news come to, to come to you? Thank you very much. First and foremost, allow me to pass my sincere condolences on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of Navajo to the family and the constituents which uh, Mr. Nyenza represented. I shared the 11th Parliament with him, and uh, I will remember him forever for one statement I used to joke with him. I used to tell him that ye ni kiongozi wa wachache, translating into the minority. When you translate into Kiswahili, it used to sound like he's leading a very small portion. So we used to joke at each other in that aspect. And so I feel to have lost a very good friend. A man who knew how to calm down the two sides. I come from the government side. He was in the opposition side. He could really tame the situation right from the heated debate from the opposition to the government. So we've lost a great man, a seasoned politician who knew what it meant by leadership in the House. Looking at it, you're talking about light moments, having shared light moments with Nyenze. Nyenze is known to have maybe once in a while to have been cracking jokes. What are some of these memorable moments you remember I'm maybe making those light moments in Parliament? Uh, exactly when, like when it came to the 18th of December, the incident of uh, pouring water. He converted that and said we were baptizing people so that now people can now say he has moved from the heated debate to a church-associated uh, uh, scenario. He would calm down every scenario. Nyenze was not a fighter. He was just a man to keep peace. He would not allow you to throw a punch at another. So I want to say we've lost a great friend and let God rest his soul in total eternity. Thank you so much. That's Mushima for Navajo Member of Parliament. Just also sharing uh, with us uh, the moments he had with uh, Mushima Francis Nyenza. Also joining me is the uh, I uh, Sh Shinyalo Member of Parliament, I think. Uh, uh, Ikolomani Member of Parliament. Just to share with us what he knew about Honorable, the late Honorable Nyenze. Uh, I have received this news with a shock this morning. I had just come in from Dar es Salaam. It is very sad. Those are the first news which hit me on the face. Uh, I would uh, want 
Secondly, to pass my sincere control in this as a person and my family and the people of Ikolomani to the, uh, to the family of uh, Honorable Nyenze. I knew Nyenze as a, a firm, clear, uh, selfless leader uh, who would not even hide to advice, who was respected in this house, both uh, in the, um, both from the minority and uh, majority sides, uh, we shall miss him in this house. His wisdom, his experience, uh, guidance to the house as a whole, uh, we, we really uh, feel that uh, we have lost uh, one of us, one leader which Kenya might not replace in the uh, near future. What will you remember him, especially when it came, to, it came to house leadership or even party leadership outside, outside parliament? How did he carry out his affairs and what can we learn from that? Uh, it was very easy to go with Nyense. Uh, whenever he saw me, he would call me a cold mine. Uh, 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 reflecting and uh, by the name of my constituency, he could uh, call me cold mine and I, was, uh, I, I got used to it. We, we used to joke that way. Thank you. That's the Kolomani Member of Parliament just trying to share with us uh, the, the moments they had with the late Honorable Francis Nyenze. And also joining me is the uh, Majority Whip in the National Assembly, Benjamin Washali, who is also Mumias East Member of Parliament. Mushimi, we've just seen uh, how the news of uh, Francis Nyenze having passed on. Your comment? Uh, it is shocking. Uh, it is shocking because um, uh, the news of the passing on of uh, our brother Honorable Francis Nyenze uh, has got us uh, flat-footed because we didn't, we least expected it. Even though, uh, even when we were being uh, sworn in, uh, uh, Honorable Nyenza came in with uh, a, a tank of oxygen, and uh, we knew, just like anybody else, he was ailing, and uh, we knew that the doctors were doing what they could do to save his life. But we didn't know it would end up at this. Uh, this is coming when we have just lost uh, Honorable Kiter also of uh, Belgut. Therefore, I think uh, this is a tragedy in Parliament and uh, uh, for us and especially for those of us who know uh, the acts of God. We just leave it to God and uh, pray that may God uh, keep his soul in internal uh, peace. Therefore, on behalf of the majority party uh, in Parliament, where I am the chief whip, and on behalf of the people of Mumias East, and on my own behalf, and on behalf of the family, I just want to pass my condolence to the family of uh, Francis Nyenze and uh, the people of uh, Ketui West uh, to have lost a leader who was actually meant to bring us together, especially now uh, when uh, we are a divided house. Looking at it, Nyenze in the last in the, in the 11th Parliament he was he was the he was the minority leader. Besides, besides that, he also worked in the Public Investments Committee. How did he? How did you see him uh, perform his role? Uh, by the way, uh, you wouldn't, the way from the way Honorable Nyenze used to conduct himself, you wouldn't have known that he was uh, the, uh, on the opposing opposing side, because he used to interact with us uh, very well. Uh, those of us who are even in the leadership of. Uh, 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 Jubilee then, we used to interact uh, very well and um, he is uh, one very balanced leader uh, who actually uh, br uh, brought in parliament a lot of balanced uh, approach to issues. I remember him even uh, when uh, we used to have uh, uh, motions that uh, could uh, pull us apart. Nyenze always remained sober and he could talk to us in a very, very balanced way. Uh, thank you. That is um, um, uh, the uh, majority whip in National Assembly, Benjamin Washali, trying to share us with a few moments with, with what, on what he knew with the late uh, Francis Nyenze. Uh, the, late, uh, the late Nyenze, I remember when he was serving as the Minister for Environment after, soon after 1997 elections, when he won that Kitui West MP, having defeated Anyeva Mwenwa, he was appointed the Minister for Environment and Natural Resources. And at that time, during that time when we had the forest excisions in 1999, massive forest excisions, we saw the 
UN environmentalist activist Professor Wangari Madai making uh, various uh, numerous visits to Nyenze's office trying to uh, to have him overturn uh, those forest extinctions that were go ongoing in the in the country's water towers and I remember he had uh, a hectic time with uh, the later Professor Wangari Madai and when uh, uh, later uh, almost 2001 or I mean 2002 towards the end when uh, Nyenze was transferred from uh, um, Environment Ministry to Sports and Heritage he said he heaved a sigh of relief saying that uh, he's now happy that uh, that Minister of Sports will be uh, he'll be less tormented by uh, Professor Wangari Madai because uh, surely in the Environment Ministry uh, Professor Madai had pushed him to the wall and he said now at the uh, uh, Sports Ministry he will have uh, a breather. He was a person who really as, as other members of Parliament have, have shown that uh, he was an amiable member of Parliament. Uh, he did interact with his uh, fellow colleagues and also he had light moments uh, that uh, he had to share with the uh, uh, colleagues uh, in Parliament. Betty?